Well, Glenn, thank you so much for, for sitting down and talking with me. Um, I think it speaks a lot to your character and how much this place meant to you. The fact that you, you know, were so quick to respond and sit down to chat with us. Um, so, you know, just to start off, I know you're from the Cabbage Town Regent Park community, um, and that's, you know, a community that you hold very near and dear to your heart. Um, but for those who may not know, you also had a 10 year career in the NHL, um, along with a very long career in various other hockey leagues. Um, so I think, you know, you, you, you've spoken previously about the impact that Cabbage Town and Regent Park had on you, specifically the Boys and Girls Club. Um, so I, I would have been remiss to not be like, let's find this guy and talk to him. <laughs> um, you know, what does opportunity mean to you? Opportunity means uh, basically if, if you have people that are, that are giving you a chance to kind of get somewhere in life, right? You kind of take advantage of it. And um, without the Boys and Girls Club kind of helping me along my journey with mentorship and stuff like that, I wouldn't have been ready for that opportunity. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about you know when and why you became a club kid? Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm an I'm an old man now a little bit, I guess, 47, <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> it all goes back to probably the 80s when Cabbage Town Regent Park. It's a little area downtown. I don't know if the the viewers or whoever really knows, but it's a it's a project, you know, inner city where <clears throat> drug infested kind of single moms, uh, prostitution, you know, mm -hmm. you name it, right? Thieves. Um, and long hot summers so um <laughs> without you know if for, for me being a young young lad young boy there growing up in you know inner city there with the single mom um you kind of gravitate i loved hockey so i gravitated to all the athletes all the sports that played sports so you had uh the recreation centers you got the boys and girls club where mm -hmm. if we, if we weren't able to have an outlet like that i mean the 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 road, the forks in the road were all all over the place, but we were very fortunate enough to not uh, to have a place to go to, and the mentorship that the Boys and Girls Club gave to us was um, amazing. It kind of kept you, kind of kept you, um, the mentorship kept you in line, so to speak, you know. But you know, the, the kids that only came off and on, right? They kind of got misled at times, and you know, the yeah. districts are, it's, it was a tough place to grow up on, you know, if you weren't strong enough and. Fortunately, a group of us kind of stuck together and a lot of my friends now are kind of working for the Boys and Girls Clubs or, you know, giving back the community. Mm -hmm. And it's great to see those guys still striving. Off the top of your head or, you know, reflecting back on your time, how do you think your time with the club changed or shaped or, or impacted you? As you sent me the questions a while ago, getting prepped yeah. up for this, I kind of try to really hone in on kind of what made me who I am today. And I think it was just um a vast of um different opportunities that the club was able to teach us whether it be art class uh learn how to be on a computer um the activities you know in the gym you know taught us how to compete and how to get sportsmanship you know what i mean we didn't know how to you know we, we weren't taught that you're, you're, you got a yeah. single mom you're running the streets you weren't taught how to be a a good teammate you know so to speak and you know with the, with the leadership that was in the, the club that's that's what it took out of that you know and you know, it's emotional when I think about the, you know, the impact that it, that it really has on me. Kind of molded me a little bit to where I am today, right? I know, I know it, it, it has been a little while since you were with us, but um, if you could thank anybody from the club, you know, who was impactful to you or, or to your story, who would it be and why? Um, I don't think it'd be fair to say one person. I, <laughs> I, I think it's, you know what I mean? It's, um, it was a collective group effort, man. You know, I can't, um, and quite, I can't even pull out all the names. There, there's, uh, you know, I was a young lad going there, like I was telling you, right? I was playing hockey a lot on, on my path, and I was always on outdoor rinks. But whenever we had opportunity to go to Boys and Girls Club, it was they were very welcoming and taught us, how, you know, back to life skills. So it's hard to, it's really hard to choose, you know, one one person impact. I think it's just the whole leadership group there was amazing. Uh, if you could sit down with one person who had no knowledge about the club, what would you want them to know? I mean, if you don't go, you're only hurting yourself pretty much. You know what I mean? It was just such, such an impact on my life. So it'd be like on a journey of growing, it's a great place to be able to be taught, you know, back to my whole point, what, what it takes to make it in life a little bit, teamwork, sportsmanship, uh, how to work together, um, how to fail a little bit, but get back up. You know, it's just, just everything that you can kind of take away from a place where you're loved and you're cared for. Really, they show so much passion towards each each one of us.
And that's kind of what I'd love to instill and let the people know that, hey, go go to Boys and Girls Club. You won't repent it, that's for sure. Being a part of the BGC Toronto Kiwanis community makes me feel happy. 